another vlog we today are in Orange County area and we just stopped at a place called Nep Cafe it's a Vietnamese restaurant that is very interesting because they do some cool different I would say a more modernized Vietnamese restaurant where they have um, really cool dishes so we're, we're really hungry so we're gonna show you guys our food and tell you the name and then we're gonna dive right on in yeah it's like um, American brunch but Vietnamese food and drinks. so American brunch like with Vietnamese style? It's Vietnamese oh. food. Oh, it's Vietnamese yeah. food with like the, sure. like the Western culture of like brunch. Like it's like steak and eggs that we got, but it's Vietnamese. Yeah. It's just Vietnamese, yeah. Look it up on Yelp. It, you guys can see all the stuff on there. But check it out. So this is the crab toast. You got some bread here, which is toasted baguette from what it looks like. And then you got the crab, crab down here. You can eat it together. Looks really good. Um, portions are little. The portions are small. I mean, just looking at it, it smells good. It smells really good. And I think these little red things are fish eggs, maybe. And um, that's scrambled eggs. And scrambled eggs. So scrambled eggs with some crab meat and then some fish eggs on top. And then I basically got the take on steak and eggs. So this is filet mignon. Eggs, filet. I asked for medium rare. We'll see how it turned out some sauce to put on top, tomatoes. Normally this is like on the vine. Yep. And then chaloa. Chaloa, which is a Mer uh, Vietnamese sausage. And here's a close up of mine. And then we got, I got Vietnamese iced coffee. This is the name of the place. It's so cute. You could totally, like, I feel like there had to be some millennials helping there. Oh yeah, no, yeah. So if you can't speak Vietnamese, it's all good. Cause they have people who can speak perfect English, but then also perfect Vietnamese which I am a little envious of because I'm trying to get my Vietnamese back. And That's a coconut ube coffee. So it's Cafe Sera Ube. Something so like basically that. it's like an iced Vietnamese coffee with ube in it. That's why you see the purple. That looks really, really good. We are now at Sunray Tea in this like awesome plaza with a lot of different food. Shout out to my friend Phil who recommended this place. Sunray, did I say Sunray? Sunray. It looks so cute. I love the quality of the cup. It just feels like really feels really nice um, and they do online ordering which you guys know I love it was really easy fast I got a strawberry jasmine milk tea 75% sweet regular ice and honey boba their boba is like white and it says shake 17 times Because that's what we normally go with. Very good. Way better than local guy. What would you rate it? I mean, I think four sugar is the best. No, this is not for you. No, I did four sugar. I would have gone with 100 sweetness. 100, so it's not super sweet. Like the recommended is 100, which is really high. So you recommend 100 then? Mm -hmm. what'd, you, what'd you go with? 75. Oh, 75, okay. Yeah. Um, honestly, 10 out of 10. Amazing from start to finish. Look at how this is the type of boba I can drink in literally two minutes. I'm just trying to not. Tommy says my stomach's gonna hurt. I hope not. But we're sharing this because I'm trying to try a lot of different things. And so, if you guys can tell, we're like splitting pizzas and breakfast and stuff so we can have room to try a lot of different things. I'm obsessed with the texture of the boba. It's so well done here. Perfection. It's the last hotel of the trip. Isn't it gorgeous? 
I love the design. We got sixth floor. This is the Newport Beach John Wayne Hyatt Regency. Well, guys, so we checked in to the hotel. We're gonna take a little break. We just came back from a little bit of shopping, just kind of walking around. Today's gonna be a pretty chill day, but we're gonna kind of get settled in, take a little break, go to Brodards next, which if you haven't heard of Brodards, it's a Vietnamese place, I think. Yeah. Oh no, it is a Vietnamese place, but I think it's a fusion, maybe, maybe not. But we were recommended by my barber to go check this place out called Brodards in Costa Mesa. And their spring rolls are really good. That's what they're known for. So we're gonna go and try out those spring rolls. So we'll see you guys when we get there. This is my favorite hotel and hotel room, and I just got in, and I already know. First of all, it is like wood and marble everywhere. That's like everything we love. Look how modern it is. The couch, even like this little fridge, a Q rag. That's a bougie fridge. And like this little. Massive TV. Oh, thanks, R Realtor Sopa. <laughs> and we have these cute little pillows. Look at the leather chair. I mean, look at that little lamp. So I'm not even going to lie. When I saw John Wayne Airport, I was like, airport? I don't know why I always, like, midway and stuff. I never mm -hmm. was like, ooh, this is midway. You think, nice. like, uh, hotels and airports aren't, like, super great? I will never say that again. Look at this mirror. Let me check her whole fit. Oh, this is a nice, this is a nice size mirror. Get ready. And this window's massive. Let's check our view. Also, I didn't disinfect anything yet, so I'm just gonna touch everything. I'm surprised. I have seen it in a... Great. <laughs> hey, we can see the airport. I think that's Irvine Spectrum right here. Is it? Oh, with the little Ferris wheel? Let me see. Let me, okay, see. Let, me, let me zoom in. Can I see that Ferris wheel? The spectrum, does Spectrum have a Ferris wheel? Oh, it's hot out there. Yeah, I won't look because dirt. Oh, dude, we parked right down there. Dust. I can see my car from here. All right, so you happy with the place? Yeah, and I'm gonna go look at the bathroom because I haven't looked at it yet. I done did good. Good job, Tommy. Huge TV. See, you guys, this is what I don't mean don't by watch TV, though. Like, for me, my time of vacay is just to sit here and watch TV. What's up guys? We are here at Brodard's Chate. Chateau. 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 <laughs> we ordered a bunch of spring rolls because it was recommended by my barber to come here. I hope it's the right one because there's two of them. And we're going to try it out. We ordered I think six different types of spring rolls. And we got some egg rolls as well which just came. It looks delicious. I am hungry. So we're going to dive on in as each plate comes. All of our spring rolls just came in, it's super delicious. We almost finished our egg rolls because we were so hungry. So we got five orders. First one's fresh fruit, and I believe this is duck, or cured beef. This should be crab, and then this is grilled shrimp. We have all different sauces, they're dead. I don't know if this is exactly what we ordered, but it's fine. Okay, it's five different varieties, and it looks super good. You guys, so far, I can't even explain how so good this is. Like, we've never tried stuff like this before. Ooh! Tommy is like in heaven. You'd say pretty creative. Mm -hmm. I've never... I've had all these dishes before. Like the flavors, but never in this room. Like, this is duck, you guys. Also, I love how they give you hot sauce on the side with like some peppers. You gotta do it. It's spicy. It. It's so good. The only one I didn't really care for was this one. It was a crab one. Mostly because I didn't like the mayo. But everything else was more amazing. It was amazing. I didn't think I didn't think the crab one was like Vietnamese tasting. Yeah. yeah. I felt like I was at a sushi restaurant. Yeah. It was like crab. Yeah. I wish I could just take you guys and bring you here because it is seriously, it doesn't feel real. Like, everyone's just so happy here. It's hard to not be. Out there though, a whole different vibe, but here, 